Have you ever wondered what would happen if you crumpled up your kitchen litho? No, only me? Well, either way, let's find out. I'm starting with a foil that is already a little bit wrinkly. It's something I just left lying around for a while. I don't mind if it gets destroyed, so it is the perfect foil to use for this experiment. I'm gonna print it once as is, just to make sure that the kitchen litho aspect of everything is still working. It seems to be picking up ink just fine. And it prints quite nicely despite being forgotten about for a few months. I decided to talc and gum down the image before I crumple it up to try and seal it in as best possible. And now for the fun part. Can I still print it? Let's find out. I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping the foil in place while I roll it. All the wrinkles in the foil means that it's not gonna stick properly with the water behind. The first print, well, it's very interesting. If you see me fiddling with paper like this, it's because I'm just trying to make sure I am getting the front of the paper. And some thin gompi, it's really hard to tell without actually feeling it. And the second print is less interesting. It's quite similar to the print that I took before crumpling the foil, just not as nice. And the next one is pretty much the same. So that interesting texture that I got from the first print after crumpling it was squashed down by the pressure of the printing tool. Would I do it again? No, I don't think there's really any benefit of this. I would, however, be interested to see what happens if you crumpled the foil at the beginning, even before the drawing stage. Thanks for watching and see you at my next experiment.